How many of you are looking for ways to spend more time out of service while still being able to connect with family, with friends, with coworkers, with employees, with customers? Uh, for the past couple years, that's something that I've been trying to do myself. About a year ago, I started looking more into to Starlink um, as an option that could help me continue to be able to work away from home while still being able to be outside in the mountains, um, whether that's hunting or fishing or backpacking, all those different things. I've been trying to figure out how I could still do those things, but be able to stay on top of my work. Um, that way I could keep my, my customers happy. I could help my coworkers out when I need and also be able to keep in touch with my, my wife and children and really just be able to have a safety net in case of an emergency. Um, about a year ago, I started looking into Starlink, but I, I had always wondered how it could work with my, with my interests. How could I actually make it work to where I could be efficient um, and also be able to not have some big old heavy tool to lug around. Anyways, I did a little bit of research and I wanted to show you today what I've come up with, do a brief run through of my setup that I've got for Starlink, specifically the Starlink Mini. Um, and then I'll do a quick little review on how it's worked for me, what I've seen, and as well as show you some of the, the speeds that I'm getting now. All right, so I've got a couple different scenarios where I would use Starlink, the first being backpacking. Um, so I still wanna be able to have Starlink, but also be able to be able to use it long enough to actually make it worth carrying but also not have to pack a hundred pound backpack. The other scenario that I would use Starlink in is going in somewhere on horseback. Typically you'd have a pack horse so you can typically get by with a little extra weight. Um, and then the other scenario is just camping out of a vehicle um, where it really doesn't matter as long as you can fit in your vehicle you can make it work. All right, so if I was going in on either horseback or if I was just camping out of my vehicle, this is what my setup would look like. So what I've got here is I got an Apache 4800. It's a hard case with foam inserts. I just got this from Harbor Freight. And all these things that I talk about, I'll listen to the description. Um, that way, if you're in, interested in any of it, you can, you can get something yourself. Um, but this is the case so this whole setup right here it weighs in at exactly 22 pounds so still very reasonable so if I open it up so what I've done is I've I've cut out a slot for my laptop I've also got two of these um, 70,000 milliamp um, move speed energy cubes um, I've got two of those um, and then underneath here, I've got, I move my laptop, I've got the Starlink Mini itself. Now you can see it's, it's even a little bit smaller than my laptop. And then I've just got a few little cables that I would use to actually power Starlink or charge my laptop. All right, so if I was just going to go backpacking and I wanted to take Starlink with me, what I would do is I would carry the Starlink Mini. I carry one of these cables and one of these energy cubes. And those three things, they weigh in at it's a 5 pounds, 10 ounces. So so very reasonable to throw in a backpack. I was doing my research on Starlink. My goal is to find a way to where I could actually power it and be able to use my cell phone off of it for more than really just a 30 minutes to an hour. And so what I stumbled on was these energy cubes. Now, from my experience this past fall using Starlink, I determined that I could get, depending on the temperature, I could get roughly seven to eight hours of, of operation uh, while using Starlink um, off one of these battery packs. The reason I got two is so if I got horses or I'm just out of a vehicle, I can really put in really a half weeks of work um, just off these battery packs, my laptop, and Starlink Mini. So you do have good time to actually use it when you're out and about. Now obviously it comes with um, uh, plugs to be able to use it off a generator. 
Um, you can you can plug it into an outlet if you have that resource available. Um, but I'm mainly looking for it when I don't have those options. And so far, this has worked great for me. A um, couple experiences that I had, um, just kind of, I guess, demonstrating how well it works. So last fall, hiking through the forest um, in the mountains, I had to be in a meeting, and it was actually my first time using Starlink, and so I was a little bit worried about how it might turn out. But I actually joined the meeting. I had I had this just in the top portion of my backpack so it was covered by the pack itself and then I had it in there with the battery and I was actually walking around on zoom with Starlink and I had no issues running the meeting and so very impressed another situation sitting in a tent in a snowstorm so heavy cloud cover I also was able to join meetings um, with my team um, without any interruption. So my first year of using it, been very impressed with how well it works. All right, so right here I did a little demonstration of what the backpacking setup would actually look like. So you can see it's very minimal. All right, so I've got Starlink Mini powered up here um, just so that we can see how fast my speeds are currently. So right now I'm in a canyon. I don't got any cell phone service. There's heavy cloud cover. Um, I got tall mountains surrounding me, um, and I'll tell you what my speeds are coming out. So I did an internet speed test. Right now I'm getting 327 megabytes per second download and 18 megabytes per second upload. And so, as you can see, the internet's pretty good. Uh, you got a lot you can work with being in remote spots, um, wait for many service. So it's definitely easy to check emails, keep in touch, make calls, all that good stuff. After using Starlink Mini myself, I've been very impressed and have a lot of confidence in how well it works. If you have any questions that I can help answer, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching my review today. Uh, please like and subscribe for more upcoming uh, reviews and information on the gear that I use to help me be most efficient um, while enjoying the outdoors. Thank you.